in a moving right along fashion we're gonna start on the SRT we're gonna get this thing up in the air I'm gonna have to do this one on my back and we're gonna work on this uh, differential here it is a little SRT 8 action love this truck I really do don't plan on it going ever anywhere so we're gonna work on this baby we had to move this baby over she's so dirty I gotta get this thing clean and enjoy this thing love this car I'm so happy to have gotten back my Fox body but uh we'll get started with that and we're gonna get started on this bad boy get this thing up in the air and I'll get back with you guys when I start it all right I should have taken a cold start video of this thing this thing sounds great when it starts right now because the muffler's busted open so it sounds basically open header sounds great <laughs> anyways we'll get a cold start Alright, we're back. Uh, SRT has been up on the jack stands overnight. I soaked the bolts with some PB Blaster. And we're going to attack this this morning. Should be able to bang this out in a little bit. I'm going to do it, like I said, without dismantling the entire front suspension. We're going to dis disconnect the uh, bolts, get them out, and rotate it down. i got to disconnect the uh, drive shaft. When I get to all that stuff, I'll... Uh, Come back with you guys. It's the front. So we're going to disconnect that. Drop that to the side. Hopefully I don't have to take. I shouldn't have to take the entire thing out. If I do, I do. I think I'll be able to do it. Of course, mark it. Always mark your drive shaft. I know some guys say not to. Whatever, whatever. It takes two seconds to mark it with a crayon or something. A tire crayon or whatever. Just make a mark and line it back up when you put it back together. That's it. Um, It takes two seconds out of the uh, entire job. So... Going to do that, bang it out. Hopefully these bushings will, uh, they're going to be a bitch to get them out of the diff. I know they are. They're going to be seized in there. I'm going to have to use the air hammer to get them out. But uh, we'll work them out, and then we got to put the new ones in. The new ones don't have any shell on them, but I know they're going to be a problem to push into the differential as well. Hopefully they won't be. I'll grease them up. We'll clean out the diff a little bit, and uh, we'll get them in there. All right, so I'll get back to it. And again, it's not really much of a how-to. I'll show you guys what I did and everything. And if you're mechanically inclined, you'll see. It's better than taking apart the whole entire front end. <sighs> Just take it out. Put a little cap on the, uh, on the breather for the differential. That way the fluid doesn't leak out. You end up not having to waste fluid, dripping fluid out, having to top it off. All that, doing it this way. All right? So uh, let me get started. Hopefully this should take... This should hopefully take about... It's going to take a few hours. I don't know how many, but... Hopefully it'll go quicker than uh, longer, all right? I'll get back with you guys. Let me get started on this. All right, here we are, back on the SRT. <laughs> oh, that's Edwin, my brother from another mother. <laughs> Coming down here. Oh. Again, I'm not doing a complete DIY here. A complete step-by-step, -step, but... I want to show you guys that it is possible to turn this around. And do me a favor, man. Go over there and, and uh, jack this up again, please. If you take off the lateral mount on the top and you take off the top mount that's broken, that came out by hand, which is right here. Literally came out by hand. You could just flip this over and without taking apart the entire front end on this truck in order to do this. Start. Go ahead, pump it up. Push it in a little bit more. There you go, go ahead. Uh, in, in more. Alright, go ahead, pump it up. Right there. there you go. Go ahead, keep going, keep going. Keep going. There you go. Right. Oh, I rotated again. All right. You too, baby. <laughs> Keep going? Now, you know what? Drop it down a little bit. And pull it forward for me. We're going to put it on the actual mount oh, itself. You? Yeah. Drop it all the way down. Not all the way, but bring it down some more while I'm holding it. Go ahead. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, good. 
Well, while I'm holding the camera, I can't do it. Keep moving it forward. Go ahead. There you go. Bring it forward some more. Yeah. Right there. And jack it up right here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's, it's gonna slip. No, it's not. It's gonna rotate the shaft here, which is okay. Oh, I'm saying slip off the jack? Nah, it ain't going to. Should be good. All right, right there's good. That should be good. See this? The only thing with this is I don't want the boots to get messed up right here. Well, I hope that doesn't cut that boot. I'm gonna be pissed if it does. But all right, we got it around. So it is possible. Now we have access to this mount right here. And we have access to this mount right here. Which I got to hammer out with the air, with the uh, impact hammer. The air hammer, all right? So we're going to start on that now. But again, it is possible. You take off the bolts here, the 8 millimeter, Drop them out. Put the drive shaft to the side. Reach over the top with the impact and a wrench to hold it up here to drop this lower mount and drop it down. And you can rotate the entire thing without disassembling the, the uh, whole entire assembly. You have a vent back here. Uh, can I see it? Right here. Where my finger is. I put a cap on it. That way we don't lose any gear oil. And that's that. You do not have to disassemble the entire front end on this. Same thing if you were doing the starter. Starter is up there. It's a little dark. But up there is your starter if you had to do it. And that's it. You're good to go. I'll get back to you guys when I'm uh, done with the mounts and ready to put it back up. All right. But we got to use an air hammer for this. As we're back, this is what the bushings look like when they come out. Completely destroyed. I would not recommend doing this unless you have an impact hammer, an air hammer, and a freaking... Uh, air compressor to do it because this is just it was very difficult to get them out the one that came out of the uh, actual case was this one out of the uh steel case came out the aluminum one is the one i was worried about possibly cracking oh. sorry for the camera shake uh, but this is what we're looking at now Sorry, camera's all over the place, one hand. All right, very difficult to do this without the air hammer. I'm gonna hit this with a file, try to get this smoother. Uh, I don't like this gouge, but that should hold. And then this one here was the steel one, much easier. This one actually came out a lot easier than the other one, but I used how to use an air hammer. I would not recommend doing it without. Little cap on the vent there, no loss of oil, no fluids lost, nothing. And uh, that's it. We'll go with the new ones in. And I'll get back to you guys when I'm putting it back up. All right. Here we are with the new bushings in place. Use the wire wheel right here to clean up the bores on the inside, on the uh, differential, and on the... Uh, actual housing here the lateral one this is aluminum so I hit it with a file as well to get any gouging that I had three of these there they come in four pieces or three pieces each you got the cylinder in the middle and a two on each side that sandwich in three of them went in by hand no problem this one I got in completely by hand this one the front went in by hand the back gave me a problem so I had to keep on messing with this but we got it in press it with a c-clamp and two pieces of wood to push it through and uh, then hammered that through, but they're in. That's it. Uh, don't look forward to doing this anytime soon ever again. And uh, we'll put this thing back up, and I'll come back with you guys when we get to that step. But now we just take it, drop this jack, flip it back over, bolt everything back up, and we're done. But you definitely, definitely need some power tools for this. Or some brute force with some pullers and clamps and things like that. But uh, it works a lot better if you happen to have a compressor with some air tools.